Okay, today we're going to talk about space. And when I talk about space, I'm not talking about outer space. I'm talking about how uh, artwork shows depth. So we're going to label this as depth in art. Okay. So what we're going to do actually first is we're going to take our page and we're going to divide it in half. So we'll have some vocabulary words up at the top and then we'll do a little doodle at the bottom. So let's get the vocab stuff taken care of first. A couple of vocab words. We have five vocab words, words when we talk about space. The first is called horizon line. So the horizon line is basically where the sky appears to meet the earth. or the ground. The next one up is the foreground. And that is the stuff that's in the front. Okay, it's gonna be closest to the viewer. It's going to be drawn towards the bottom of the paper. And it's gonna to appear to be the largest. Thing in your drawing. The next up is the midground. So the midground is, hopefully you can guess this, it's the stuff in the middle. So it's not the furthest, it's not the uh, closest, it doesn't mean the center, not necessarily. So there's a difference between the center and the middle. The next one we have is the background. Background is the stuff that's in the back, right? So it's gonna be things that are towards the back. It's gonna appear to be the furthest. It's gonna be drawn towards the top of your page and it's going to appear to be the smallest. Last one is overlapping. So to show space, you gotta have some kind of overlapping. Overlapping is basically when something is in front or behind or on top of something else. Okay, so now that you have your vocabulary notes taken, we're gonna go ahead and move up and do our doodle. So this is the part where we start to incorporate some of these vocabulary words from the top and we create a drawing that shows space or depth. So we're gonna start with our horizon line. I like to start mine about two thirds of the way up roughly, a little over half. Uh, close to the top and you're going to want to draw lightly because your Lines because of overlapping you may end up erasing some things later. So draw lightly if you can So we're going to start with some things in the foreground We're going to start with a tree and You want to erase this line here So we're going to start with our tree trunk so we want to throw in some texture on our trunk so it looks like it is somewhat realistic. And then let's add a little, some little cattails or some tall grass down at the bottom here. Okay. So we have a couple of things in the, in the foreground. We have this tree, we have this little shrub, this little cattail here. Now the tree is so large in the foreground that you don't see the top of it. It's cut off. So in this instance, this almost appears as though our viewer is maybe hiding behind the tree or standing next to it. Now if the viewer looks up, then they're going to see the leaves and things. But for this drawing, they're looking out into the horizon. So your horizon is also kind of your eye level. So 
here's our horizon, here's some things in our foreground. What we're gonna wanna do is start working with things in the midground. So if we draw a second tree that is the same height and the same age as this tree that we drew in the foreground, but it's further away, it's going to look smaller because it's further. And I'm just doing a simple lollipop tree. You can certainly add more details if you'd like, okay? So we've got this lollipop tree. Now we still see some texture, quite a bit of texture, our trunk and our sort of fluffy leaves that we did there. But even though this tree and this tree are the same size in real life, this one is drawn smaller because it's further away. So notice also that when we get to the midground, we start into we start to move up towards our horizon line. So let's go with another tree that's even further away. This one might just be more of like a silhouette because it's far away and you don't see as many details. But again, this one is being drawn smaller because it's further away. Now let's get some things into our background. Let's say we've got some mountains here. There's some overlapping right here. Maybe we've got some snow on the top of our mountains. Maybe we've got a sunrise or a sunset happening. And we've got some clouds perhaps. Some more overlapping there. And maybe we have some tiny little birds flying far away. Okay, so you have, these are the things in your background, they're above your horizon line, they're the furthest away. Now, let me show you how to draw things that go from the horizon line to the foreground. So for example, let's say we have a road, or maybe a river. So this is gonna start at that same point, but then it's gonna gradually get larger and wider. So this makes it look like we have it here going from the foreground and it travels all the way, it gets smaller and goes further up our page till it hits the horizon line. So if this were a street, even those center lines in the middle would get smaller and we would see them less and less as it went up closer to horizon line and moved further away. So this is just a very simple basic drawing on how to do, uh, how to show space within your artwork Feel free to go add more details and more textures and maybe some animals, but this is just the basics, so try it and I hope you like it.